around pop block. Are they really going into A? Or is it a fake? Indeed, they're going wide. They've made some space for themselves with the smokes, I think. Got beat around the smoke. Has to be taken out in the meantime. Spamming while he falls back. We've got CTs on the high ground. And Big are lighting up the kill feed. Guardian and Olof Meister. Olof has made his way into B. Telling Guardian, come and rotate. I'm in the back. He's dead now, of course. Guardian now needs to get a bomb down. Worst case scenario, he can get a default plant. You can see he hasn't stopped to take that fight. Just gets the bomb down instead. Now, any kills would be a bonus. Of course, the round, was round win is unlikely, but not impossible. Taps the head, but doesn't quite get the kill. Moving as fast as he can. Sounds his way. Jumping first fire. Does all he can, but he can't get any more frags. Peak all the way down. He's going to be happy with that. Some teams in this situation will smoke this position off and make it more obvious. They so get a drone spotting and God B has gone huge in the meantime. Taking the game into their own hands are big. Smear gets one trade, but three versus two. Now there's only SMGs left for big. Not the most ideal situation. A minute 20 for FaZe Clan. He's in a great position to backstab him if he goes too deep onto the site. But looking at the time, this could be a very interesting situation. Ivy is very important to control when you want to bomb, plant the bomb. Nico expecting somebody to be there. Nobody says. Actually, Molotov's his own teammate off. And that's going to cost him everything. That's a disaster. Oh, no. Surely there's no time. He can't oh even get around the corner. And it's a team kill. What a calamity. Fake. Adren slowly edging forward with the bomb in main. Guardian trying to sell the fake. He has got three players in the B bomb site. Can the bomb get implanted? Adren's still going to make his way to the site. Big jewels being had and the bomb's being dropped. With 12 seconds, it could be a disaster again. Down to the two versus two. Nine seconds. The question of staying alive. They win by elimination big with six feet. That's a rotation and a half. They've all just rotated massively towards that bomb site. Smear, he can, he's the one that can make the difference here. If he needs to be able to hold connector for his team to come back out. We're seeing players come out from all bomb. That's a beautiful tap though from Nico, eliminating Xantara straight away. The barrel of the gun spotted of Smear. He is dead and he doesn't even know it just yet. Maybe not that flash you think from a teammate. And of course, the problem is that still Smear goes down. Guardian defense against taps him from all bomb and all of a sudden, that one play from Rain pulled Everyone out of position. Oh, and possible by big, and they move in up top with three players. Copy those on the way to Spool's position. Almost getting the kill there. Spot trade's going down. And there's one. Looking for a second one, running out of bullets. But teasing and smooth with the pistols, leaving Guardian alone. One versus three with the AWP. And there it is. MP9 finishes the job. What a round from God B, though. Well, That's what we it. must note. Santara's looking and just walking into Pop Dog. Nobody's there, but he could be on a fast flank. Adren now may pull players towards the A site because IV is such an important position. But in fact, FaZe are going towards IV. Sorry, towards Pop Dog. But Santara's still on the ladder. Oh, he's made it awkward, but he still gets the kill. Now, where does the bomb go? Tizian's on the B bomb site. 25 seconds. The players are left alone now. Just two players. Tizian, he's up top. They're never going to expect this. What a weird angle from him. Down he goes. 17 seconds now. Guardian is about to lose his AWP. Eight rounds for big, one round for FaZe Clan. Look for it later as FaZe Clan get their first opening frag in this round. Smokes to obscure the vision of Smear around that position. Oh, we've got players stuck on the site. Two players falling to Molotovs. Smear through the smoke like Rambo, but not quite having the right ending. Santara's and Tizian remain versus Nico Olofmeister and Guardian. The T's have control of the IV position for now. It certainly helps with a bomb plant, but Pop Dog's a question mark. Tizian on the bomb train. Santara's on old bomb. Where the bomb used to be planted in older iterations of CS. Ooh. That's a meaty one, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's damage all over the place there. No lettuce in that and burger. This is not too bad. Look, they're holding position, they're waiting for those pushes, and Nico! How have you managed to pull that one off? Molotov a big towards the bomb site, but the push seems to be coming towards A. The numbers game. Trying to avoid a flashbang, can't avoid the bullets though. Santara's with the AWP. He's got a lot to do. Spot, spots one player around Ebox, trying to reposition. He's got to be careful though. If he creeps wide, they'll see his legs first. He'll be a free drop for the team. And now he is the last one left. And he's come back out again. There's 10 seconds. Can he stop the bomb planter? Are they going to look the right way? Down to the pistol, back to the AWP. Seven seconds to plant the bomb. Does he run across? He knows someone's already going to be covering. And Guardian will be doing it. A very labored round for FaZe Clan, but they win by elimination. It's going to be very tough, though. Tapson goes close. He goes in the pop flash. Absolutely phenomenal. Tapson with three. It's so beautiful for Big. That's exactly what they needed. And they finish it off Smuya. He had a great round as well with that AWP. He's still ready. Not deep enough for Olof Meister, but Smooth's been taken out by Guardian, who was halfway up the IV position. So four and four, there's a minute on the clock for FaZe Clan. So much time we've seen Tizian go for this before, but this time Nico's got a better position. He gets ahead of Tizian, and Tizian can't get that. So beautiful off angle. And now they start to spot that they're going towards B. The long range spray from Xantaris is not good. Got B in the one versus four, completely locked out of the bomb site. 
Nice nades to come in there, but we'll announce his presence. Up and down like a jack in a box, looking to find Guardian around the smoke, and he will. Doesn't take any damage, picks up the AWP. It's the last round. He's absolutely going for this one as he looks to charge down the smoke. He knows he's got nothing to lose. Oh, got beat for the smoke. What else has he got on hand here with that AWP? Smoke on the bomb here as he tries to make things even more difficult. Starts to get scary now. Face starts to sweat as he goes for the hold, threatening it, trying to pull them into the smoke. Are we going to get another one? No, they're going to go through with that knife. What on earth is going on? The P250 comes to bear down for Gobby as he tries to find the frag, but it's Nico to get it done four Guardian's rounds standing in the flames have to give up their position for now which means Olaf is on his own the team's not choosing to push just yet we'll take the longer range jewel and tabson will lose it three players coming through connected now for the ct side as they move forward a has got a smoke um, and a kit he can bounce right off the wall and start defusing that would cause absolute mayhem meanwhile face clan coming in with the frags they need to get this round and Gobby's miles away from his team right now three players will get a cheap helmet upgrade so even some damage to those would be have massive value basically a thousand dollars above the pop dog i believe so Gobby, it's not really safe for him to plant the bomb but what choice does he have in this three versus four situation bomb has been planted guardians picked off but again Again, Nico still towards Ivy. They may not expect this. Rain in the pop dog position. Having a look now. Tabson taken out in the meantime. Molotov being isolating the player. Smuya, what a big frag from him. With no Kevlar, no less. Not that it matters really for a Molotov. Two versus two. That's quite tick. These players don't have a defuse yet. Still taking Jules. Nico finally going down. Olaf Meister is all that remains. But surely there isn't time to find the defuse here. Is he just going for the damage? He's got to back off. He's carrying so much. And Duran will go to make the exceed his position before he knows anything about it. It's a free shot. Now they come out. The trade frag was there if it was needed. But it wasn't. Rain delivering two kills though. 23 seconds for this bomb to go down. Trades all over the place. Down to the 2 on 2 again. Gobby carrying the bomb from main. Jumping over. Spotted by Guardian now. It's on the radar. And Olaf's creeping through connector. 13 seconds as he risk it. He's looking for the trade frag. He sees the barrel of the gun from Smuya. Just waiting for him to turn around. Gobby moving back in the meantime. It's a free kill on Smoo. He's got the information. He can tell Guardian where Gobby's going. There goes Gobby. And there goes Smoo as well. This is so big style. Just like offering up these fakes. Just like making it look like it's an execute, but then just creating that doubt. Good defense there from Guardians. He spots Santaris walking in and they defend everything. Tabson tries to get the frag. I think that may have been the opportunity. He's pretty much alone there at the moment. The bomb is dropped upper, so that is going to force Tizian to go up for that bomb. Tabson has to get some kills here. And he's going to get pretty fast. There's one. What else can he find though? Nothing really off it up to him, except Olaf on the sidewalk, now pressing onto Tizian, doesn't look to win that fight, Tizian trying to offer this up, gets a bomb plant, but I think Adren may be too close, he's going up on the ladder, the high ground, and indeed, the vantage point will be very successful as the DP is fighting around, he's spotting around the IV position, around the smoke, he's been smoked off by the T's, and there's Guardian with the first frag, see, there's nothing, everything's fine, there's a trade around that main position, Big really needs to get something going, they've got the, uh, they don't have IV control, but they have managed to plant the smoke, Vintage straps coming out while Smuya stops at Drent's flank. Yeah, very nice peek there from Smuya. He's come alive in this round, and this is looking very difficult. Indeed, as you say, that that front-facing bomb plant towards the pop dog. Difficult here. Nico will smoke down the Olaf position so that he can get across and join up with Olaf Meister to try to hazard Ooh. at a retake here. Careful. And as you can see, he's slightly on edge, but nice push through that smoke. Tapson. He can make those kinds of moves because they have a player to advantage and now it's two players to advantage. Just Olaf Meister as he backs away and you can't back away from God B. Scouts are scary on this map, especially in the of the Guardian. Tizian takes down Guardian though and frames stuck by Olaf Bomb and each double P comes in. There's nothing he can do. Nico does have full HP and an M4. Let's see what he can do here as the bomb's being planted. Looks like he can find a free frag for that one. One, two versus three here. Now as Nico is in a dangerous position, another kill comes into connector. Smu is the only one with the HP. He's got the AWP. He's working from T-Con as he typically does in these post-plant setups. And Nico still lurking around. Very dangerous. Tizian working from Ivy. Has that cover. Predictable setup here from the T's. Can FaZe figure this out? They're looking to try to deal with both of these positions, but how do they force them to peek? Someone's got to tap the bomb here, apply the pressure. Smear looks away just at the wrong moment as the Dren now dives towards the bomb pressure. Nico, can he cover with the M4? Yes, he can. Defuse comes in, Tizian can't survive. Can Nico get there in time? He doesn't have a kit. He can't do it. There's no two, but Smear's already in position, covering for Gobby as much as he can. We've got a Dren lining up. There's one, tries to trace frag. A Dren will manage to do that. Down low health. It's been a hard map for him so far. And now the wall player is coming his way. Nico taken out. Adren to trade with the AWP. Still alive. Three on three. That's the bomb down as well. Great catch again from Adren. He is coming alive here by Ivy with the AWP. And again, that bomb being down is a huge issue. So I'm going to go grab that. Oh, teasing Adren once more. You don't want to do that. He's feeling it this round with the AWP. 
as he still is scanning around for more players to knock down his Tizian will collect that bomb and they only have two flashbangs. I don't know if there's a smoke on the floor and you can see Tizian is well aware that that rotation from inner by Popdog is a huge threat. Will he come out or will they wait for the plant? Indeed, just waiting for that plant, making sure that it's not a fake. Tizian works his way around. Going for the frag, Olaf Meister takes down Tizian. Up to Smuya now. Creeping towards main, his timing has to be perfect. It was pretty good, but did it side. Nice grenade as Tavson runs up sidewalk. Will he get a catch? Smuya's there for it, though. Can they find the rest of the CT? Olaf Meister by the bomb train. He's done actually pretty good work. Three versus three, but Tavson creeping around. He could be a huge problem, but he's gone too deep. Rain defends, and now it's down to Smuya and God B. That was a game-winning position eliminated. Smuya missing the flick. I think he's exposed to the high ground, and Nico's on the way there, throwing a smoke for the time being. So he's got to be really careful. Down on the low ground now is Nico. Opportunity may be come and gone. Continuing to hunt. Dobby surround. He sees one player on the high ground standing in the smoke. Now, what does he do? He's playing for an anti-defuse. So he's got to be there somewhere. But what choice did he have with an AWP? And now it's got B going for the spray. Friends, the transfer won't happen. And FaZe have made Bomb. it. But they could easily be picked off. They've got to be careful around this connector smoke this time. But this time, FaZe Clan are still stuck in connector with three people. Santorez now in CT squad. This could be a complete disaster. Two man spread out for Smuya. And the trades are there for Santorez. Going for the trade. And that's it, 16 to 14, down to all 30 rounds.